Hey, what's up everyone? This is Nash back with another video. Today I'm very happy to review first Nougat ROM and Android Nougat itself for OnePlus One. Despite of having few bugs, the ROM is smooth and it's pure AOSP build. The developer who port this ROM is using only Cyanogen Mode kernel. Of course, it's not rooted, but you can root while flashing the ROM. I won't review this ROM as my normal ROM reviews because it's a first experimental build and the fact that developer provided this build for OnePlus One this early is amazing. Let's start from lock screen, nice notification list and all the notifications are bundled so they doesn't take much space and looks very neat. Double tap to wake works also and new quick toggles on first slide and second slide is just simply beautiful and the animation of Nougat I can watch it all day. Just and just amazing. Android Nougat has taken the material design to all new level. The new setting style, sliding subsetting menu from right is saving my lots of time. Giving suggestion to new users, not to forget when you have alarm only more activated, it will show you each time you go to settings on the top with green bar. And thank you Google for that. And giving extra info without tapping on tab is very very useful like I can know my ringer volume without even going into sound tab. Battery icon shifted from status bar to notification drawer, the new battery usage graph and battery saver option available in notification drawer. Now you can change LCD density without root and without any third party app. Even the style of changing density is unique also. Same way you can change the size of font and the new design of changing the font size is unique AF. And whenever you download any app from Play Store, the install time of the app is very very fast. New apps button in setting menu, at very bottom you can see if the app was installed from Play Store or not. Under storage section you can go to explore and you can see new design file manager which is new from all those boring file explorers you used to get in Lollipop and Marshmallow. Under the user section you can add emergency details in which you can fill your personal data like your name, address, blood type and emergency contacts. Also there is new feature called data saver which prevents some app from sending and receiving data in the background. You can customize notification drawer, add few tiles or remove some and play nice kitty easter egg from android nougat only pokemon lovers will like and understand this game. Not to forget all the new emojis you get with android nougat. There is no bug in camera in this room and even the video recording is working just fine. There is clear all button in multitasking which is one of the reason people flash the ROM but now it's included in stock android. Using split screen was never easy in marshmallow but now it just works completely fine. You just need to drag and drop and it's very easy to understand as well. Now let's talk about some bugs. You cannot have Google Launcher as your default launcher but you can have the Nova Launcher instead of that. I tried to install Google Launcher and make it as my default launcher but it just did not work. GPS might take longer time to obtain accurate position. No gestures are working except double tap to wake gesture. Overall I felt very good and happy while using the row and I got nougat so that's a bonus for me. Battery life seems to be average around 4.5 hours of screen on time, few bugs which are ignorable and the ROM is 90% daily drive safe so I would give 4 out of 5 to this ROM. I will give the full XDA link in the video description below and guide to flash the ROM as well. Now flashing this ROM is a bit tricky so read the instruction carefully and use open gaps 7.0. I hope this video was useful to you and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. This is Nash and I'm really glad that you watch all my videos and till next time, keep flashing my friends.